given that Penn State defense that has really been the story of the game. Clifford, hit as he throws for the end zone. Oh boy, wide open, KJ Hamler. Now what I love about Sean Clifford here, he keeps his eyes downfield. He scrambles and steps up in the pocket. KJ Hamler. That's where I want to be. <laughs> That's when you didn't have any worries. Around the edge, a lot of room to go for Devin Ford. 30, 20, 10, goodbye. Touchdown, 81-yard run for the true freshman from Stafford, Virginia. You see here, he gives it. Once he's past that first level, you mentioned Ricky Ronnie mentioning his great feet, his great ball skills. It looks like he has great speed as well. Able to take that one all the way to the house. His face in there blocking and straining up blocks for his teammates. It's good stuff. Off the play fake. Clifford all kinds of time, and he's going deep for Hamler. Hamler adjusted and hold it in. There's nothing that Tyrese Denman could do there. When that ball is that underthrown. The receiver has a huge advantage because he's looking back for it. Correlation between these two coaches. East Stroudsburg State is where it began for James. Now at Penn State, lofting it deep. In the end zone, touchdown, Jahan Dotson. And this team being so young offensively, I'm not so sure how good Penn State is right now on offense. Especially this early in the season. Yeah. It's intercepted. It's Reed. It is touchdown. Now the defense, on the other hand, that's another story. <laughs> Reed is Johnny on the spot. He plucked that one out of the air. And that's how you take ownership of the ball that's thrown across the field. That's a big boy throw. For a significant game at that middle linebacker spot. Clifford keeps it. He's got nimble feet. Yes, he does. Look out. Four or five speed. <laughs> James Patterson was on the previous play that was involved in. Got locked up underneath. <laughs> and again, the ball goes opposite direction for 57 yards. A big quarterback. Hey, the only thing I'm going to critique here, put that ball in the other hand. Yeah. Put yeah. that ball in the other hand. That's 4-5 speed there. He yeah. corrected you, Tim, right? Well, actually, he was correcting his coach. Yeah. On the setback. Oh, they got him now. No, oh, they go to Fryermuth. Beautiful fake. Mm. Prince Fryermuth is in there. <laughs> Touchdown. Out for you. He comes across the formation, the zone read underneath, and it's almost like a run pass option scenario. He catches it behind the line of scrimmage, gets upfield. Everybody on the line does their job. Staying. If you're looking at Washington, you better make sure you tackle that guy before he gets ahead of steam. Plenty of time for Clifford. Looking oh, long. Hamler wide open. Nice adjustment on the ball, too. It's important for him to communicate his role and his readiness to the team so they would have confidence because those were big shoes that he's stepping into. Off the pump fake, and it's a beauty. It's Dotson. Touchdown. Oh, ho, ho. how do you do? Sean Clifford puts that ball up in the air and throws it exactly where it needed oh. to be on time. Right between the arms of Dotson. He bubbles it a little bit there, but calls it in. The score on third down and really get a little more exotic. It's a handoff, and Brown busts a tackle and has a first down and more. He's got great speed. Journey Brown down the sidelines. Can they angle him out? They'll catch him from behind, but all the way at the Panthers 14 as Brown makes an explosive play in his first start. Watch Fryermuth come across the formation, get the kick out block. A very conservative call on third down, back way up, about three missed tackles, and then you see the speed of Journey Brown take over. One good block at the point of attack, a couple missed tackles. Really fun game. Not for Pittsburgh fans. Nice, for Penn State. <laughs> Play action to Slade, and this is K.J. Hamler on the edge. Shows his burst. Hamler makes a cut. Midfield. And they finally grab him in Pittsburgh territory. Corner, his eyes are on the quarterback. He thinks it's run, and so he bit on the run and got separation away from Hamler, and you cannot give him that much space. You have to get hands on him and stay close.
That penalty is declined. The play results in a first down. So he's got a lot of mirroring going on right now in his setup. Third and five. A little dump right there. That's Jeremy Brown. Down the sidelines. Touchdown. This guy broke Leroy Burrell's high school record, and Leroy held the world record at 9.86 and 100 meters. Let me tell you, this kid rushed for over 700 yards in a high school game, Tim. And as I said in the open of the show, what about over, that? I think they had over 1,000 yards of offense on their side alone. And, Sounds like, sounds like basketball numbers, but you don't have rushing yards in the <laughs> basketball. There's Bowers. There's Bowers. That ball's coming out. Yeah. Looked like it almost He was did. going for it. He was going for the strip. The graduate senior. Whew, I'm looking at the big screen, and they're catching up. Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't even got that far at cross. It's KJ Handler in the slot here. Blitz coming. Flipper over the middle, wide open. Jahan Dotson makes a move down the sideline, getting blocks. Touchdown! Look at this space, freeze it. Look at the space in the middle of the field that he's going to be able to layer that football into up over that defender off that fire zone pressure. And that's an outstanding job by Dotson of not only catching in that zone, but the athleticism, the want to go. I can go score right here. A little bit of three-way dead leg. And again, that speed to run away from everyone. That's also James Franklin, Ricky Ronnie, the offensive coordinator. They saw what you saw. That great challenge, but also a great opportunity for Jeff Brown. Wide open. The tight end, Nick Bowers. Out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Great misdirection on the fake by Clifford. Josh Bowers on the right side of the screen. Drift in with his eyes in. Oh, here I come. I'm going to block. That gets the defender. Kenneth Major to jump up. And just an easy throw. Here's a big third down. It's a blitz that didn't get close. And it's a catch by K.J. Hamler leaping for the end zone. No signal yet. Touchdown, Penn State. This is Nick Neiman. He's lined up over K.J. Hamler. He's got to get a piece of K.J. Hamler. He can't let him break out like that because it's a mismatch if he doesn't get his hands or his body on him a little bit. And credit Sean Clifford for going at that matchup, realizing what he had, and getting the football to K.J. Hamler. That's two plays on this drive, exact same play against the exact same defense. K.J. Hamler going high in the air. And that kind of cushion there on third down. And Clipper, after converting, looks to find Hamler deep. He's got a touchdown, Penn State. He's even coming over late. And at this point, it's in no man's land. He, he just doesn't have a chance here against one of the fastest receivers in the country. I love the timing between Clifford and Hamler. You tell me hung out until you scolded. The only active Big Ten coach who's won multiple Big Ten titles, three of those, and can claim a Rose Bowl victory and have coached in the college football playoff. Here's Jaquan Brisker with an interception of Rocky Lombardi. Brisker. After the play. Just don't need it. Like don't need it. Football to the right spot. Got it in between two defenders. Here's Journey Brown. He breaks tackles. He has lots of running room. He has a touchdown. Tackle Rashid Walker, but then you're going to see a missed tackle right up here. The safety, Jordan Howden, is going to miss a tackle. He's unblocked. He misses the tackle, and Journey Brown makes him pay for it. Penn State answers. Well, with a little more tempo. Yeah, he wants when, when they're making a change of the line, run up to the line instead of standing around. Enough, you got to believe for Franklin and a first down Penn State. Clifford to throw on first down. There he goes vertically up the pocket right down the boulevard. Clifford has goal lines for the touchdown. And I wanted to keep him from doing was exactly this running right up the middle. They bring a little pressure inside. He picks the gap to the right. 
They missed him completely. They didn't have eyes on him from the back end, and Clifford made them pay. You have to manage the game. Tremendous double team on the nose guard, and then you get a situation with Raekwon Jones. More reps, and you have to try to capitalize on those reps. They sit Brown out here, and that leaves a lot of room for Will Levis. Levis all the way down, just shy of the 20 before he's tackled by Christian Izzia. You know, it's quarterback power. And Steven Gonzalez does a nice job kicking out the defender, and Levis just follows him up through the middle of that Rutgers defense. Low snap. Levis takes it off the bounce, adjust, throws deep, caught at the five, spinning, Dotson, touchdown, unbelievable, Jahan Dotson. Off the bounce, Levis picks it up and throws it 44 yards to number five. That's a BTN standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance.